here is the willpower equation. And this is a very important concept to understand. So there's a, there's a fundamental biology to willpower. There is the mTOR pathway, which is essentially a, a pathway that activates anabolic restorative hormones. And this pathway restores willpower. It restores cognitive function. It upregulates the what you're capable of handling. It increases your energy levels. Whereas the high performance lifestyle, most of that culture and most of the advice there is extremely AMPK, which means that it depletes willpower. It depletes your body. It depletes it of capacity to, and, and it takes away the advanced features if this is continued. The stress response, when it's activated, pushes you immediately over here onto this side. When the stress response is deactivated, the mTOR pathway uh, you know, can, can actually be triggered. If you make nutritional mistakes, you're going to be spending more time here because inflammation is going to immediately put you on this and you're going to become depleted, depleted, depleted. If you have micronutrient uh, deficiencies, you're going to be more depleted and you're going to have to push yourself here. One way to think about this is that depending on you know, the quality of the machine, the quality of your brain, the quality of your, like how good your biology is, something that is stressful for someone else. So like, let's say we take an optimized individual and a non-optimized. A non-optimized individual, a simple walk might be extremely challenging for them. A workout is going to take them just here for, for days on end. A more optimized individual can, you know, work for, have a day of, of eight, 12 hour cognitive effort have a workout and still be happy, and they're still barely, you know, they, they still have massive mTOR reserves. And so that's what I'm advising you to do is that you have to understand that this, the, the, the willpower and these features that predict success, they're malleable partially by optimizing your biology and by addressing these systems. And so you wanna understand that at all times you have biochemistry in your body that is either upregulating you, optimizing you, making you better, making you better at handling complexity, improving your capacity to function. The mTOR pathway also creates white matter around neurons that are specific to the things that you use your brain for. So the more you, this is how you develop expertise. So the, the rule of 10,000 hours is, is simply a rule of how fast can you myelinate the right neurons in order to achieve that kind of level of performance. Um, and if you press on this pathway and you spend time stressed and in suboptimal health, you're continually down-regulating yourself. A, another factor of the, that you want to keep in mind with, with kind of this, this willpower equation is that you're either optimizing yourself for survival or success traits, and they are kind of the opposite. There's either the short-term survival demands, essentially sacrificing future success for short-term benefit, or you are essentially lowering your production slightly by having you know, by not necessarily pushing yourself all the time, but fundamentally you're also increasing your capacity to produce. Someone with a better mTOR pathway, a stronger pathway, more efficient pathway, is going to be able to put out substantially more uh, work volume even, and quality, than someone that is constantly on this side of AMPK stress performance. Someone that can control their stress response is just going to crush everyone else. Uh, because they are developing tr traits and advantages that actually predict their success. Another factor you know, that is connected to the mTOR pathway and the NPK pathway is that if your strategy and your lifestyle is very here, if your health, right? So if you think about fitness, a lot of fitness people, their strategy for health is literally just here. Just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. And so unless you have no other demands on this pathway, you know, you can do it. But like, if you, if you do have other demands, then you can't because you're going to literally be inconsistent. You're going to be pressing on the AMPK pathway, then giving up, addictions are gonna show up, you're going to not follow the routine and you're gonna get crappy results. So the consistency is actually predictable based on how your current strategy is balancing the mTOR pathway and the AMPK pathway. Essentially, now the question that remains is what happens when we integrate these and more, these factors and more into a single process? And that's what I'm going to share with you. I'm going to take a few minutes to walk you through what it looks like when applied. So, Hannah, cybersecurity lawyer. So, she, she deals with intellectual property. She sent me, um, you know, she, she loved our work together. And she sent me at this point seven or so 
referrals and she's been amazing to work with and and we've been able to be, get really close after we uh, created this 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 massive kind of turnaround so hannah was uh, struggling she was feeling like she was losing her edge she was feeling burnt out she was feeling like um you know the work the workload just kept climbing while her energy just kept de declining right so i was talking about that uh, demands versus availability equation and and she was really um kind of at her last uh, straw she was also struggling with imposter syndrome she was struggling with with public speaking and she was finding the politics uh, necessary and and the and and just the irritability the the constant stressors they were very difficult on her and, and i helped her become much more stoic she was no longer getting upset her mood started you know she started kind of having this 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 more so much more optimism because we saw that the dopaminergic system was so destroyed after many many years and so much adrenaline being produced so much stress and we were able to get her healthier we were able to correct anemia we were able to get her imposter syndrome solved by addressing the serotonergic system because that's the root of it we were able to get her more engaged with work life and and make her much more emotionally intelligent when approaching uh, dealing with her daughter even um, and so uh, all of that was was really fun to see and um, she was able to get massive promotions massive amounts of new opportunities even though you know, when we started working to her she was worried that you know she she was getting older and these top law companies didn't want to get uh, older lawyers because they would have to pay them more but we were able to expand her competence and give her a career a certain level of career capital where she was so valuable in the marketplace that the companies just were willing to pay premium and um now she's able to she she's she has her focus back she has her brain health back and and she's she's functioning at a very very high level she was actually able to land a ted talk on imposter syndrome and um it's been it's been yeah it's uh, just really cool we have Luke, right? Luke is a venture capitalist, and and you can kind of see on the texts uh, here. Uh, I was asking him how how is the Thanos lifestyle, right? Because because we were essentially talking about how um, he had all these new you know these this new nootropic regimen that we formulated for him specifically. Luke came to me when when he started feeling really really burned out. He was getting um he he was becoming more snappy, more irritable. He was not really waking up motivated in the morning. He, he saw that he was losing his memory. It was di more difficult to find words. All of it, all of which is a massive problem for someone that is um, essentially makes his living and makes his income and his business runs on how competent he comes across, how well he can communicate, how well he can read people, how almost, how well he, he can think on his feet. That's what it essentially is based off. And and Luke's biology was beginning to really fail after this massive, massive push. And so we started working together and pretty quickly, I realized that his dopaminergic system was, was smoked. Essentially it's been downregulated, right? And that's something I talked about. And, um, when the dopaminergic system is downregulated, motivation goes away, but so does cognition. Almost these, the things that gave him the edge from other people were taken away. And so we were able to create a plan, put him on a nootropic regimen optimize his overall nutrition get the right testing done and soon enough he was essentially feeling uh you know incredible and people actually the bro other brokers and his business partners were essentially asking like how, how the hell do you have all this energy how can you um how can you juggle so many things at once how can you be so compartmentalized and and coordinated in your thinking the answer is the dopaminergic system so um yeah just uh, he had a little bit of a description for working with me there uh, but we were trying to really adopt this this holistic philosophy. Once we understood what was going on, I was able to listen to the symptoms and what he was experiencing and when it all started and what was needed. We were able to reverse engineer it and apply it really, really quickly. Um, so, so yeah, super fun working with Luke. So Matt, he's a, a CEO of a trucking company, and he came to me when he was really in a in a place where. The business was kind of stagnating and he was self-sabotaging. He was struggling both with his health and, and his productivity in the business. Now he, he came to me from an optimization standpoint, right? Uh, every single, most of these people, even when they come to me, when they're at their lowest, they're still top performers in their industry. Oftentimes. Now it does happen that people will come to me when they're really, you know, in, in not in a good place. And those are really the, the two kinds of situations where I work with people. Either they're doing fantastic and they're just looking for that next level, 
or they are kind of in a in a rut and are trying to get out of it and everything they've tried hasn't really been able to make that big of a difference. And with Matt, he was he was trying to work out two hours a day. He was trying to um, kind of, he was tr doing everything that the personal development industry tells you to do. He was, he was doing a lot, but he was feeling really burned out and he was struggling with uh, addiction, with, with various problems that were inhibiting how much he was capable of doing. Um, and the way he showed up to work also led to him not being able to see what needed to be done. Like he was still sharper and above baseline than, you know, than the people around him, but he was not the person that could look at his business and almost see, okay, wow, that, that is what we need to double down on. So, so as soon as we started optimizing his biology, we kind of brought him, uh, we reconnected him to, to kind of get joy from life again. Cause one of the symptoms of burnout is this numbness and this um, almost indifference and this uh, distancing because of burnout works through almost like a traumatic way where, where you associate negative emotion with the business. And so when we started optimizing his biology, when we started retargeting and kind of essentially rewiring his reward system and giving him a very different experience, more control, more empowerment at work, we we're able to see that one of the biggest limiting factors for the business growth was actually employee performance. And because Matt was showing up less inspired than he he used to be the 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 working performance was not able to get kind of to that next level and so as soon as he started strategizing on how to inspire the team how to use our ability to neuroassociate to use theory of mind of the top of the star employees to influence them income exploded and essentially became a record year just in 23 days we increased uh, the income of the business by uh, essentially profits of the business by 100k um, and uh, so, and that was reoccurring and, and we've been, you know, he's been climbing ever since. And he actually had competitors asking him, what was his secret weapon? What, what kind of strategy did he apply? The strategy was optimization of his personal performance and how he was showing up to problems and how the kind of awareness and thinking ability that he showed up to the situation with. On top of that, he was able to, um, you know, he always had difficulty gaining and building muscle despite working out two hours a day. We were actually able to switch him around to working out two to three times a week, only for 30 to 45 minutes um, each session. And he was able to get dramatic results. His posture started improving. He was able to get rid of his anxiety, his sleep improved, his self-sabotaging behaviors and addictions started kind of falling off. And there was this, this completely different place that he was started growing his business from. So here is a, a great way to, to think about all of this, um, which is essentially to you know, the, what, what is a way that we could apply all these things into one single process? And the answer is the four human powers. And so first I'm going to map out what it feels like to be unoptimized. And the four human powers are biology, psychology, performance, and influence. And so when you are unoptimized, your biology is going to feel like this. You're going to struggle, build muscle and stay lean. You're going to have high body fat. You're going to have back pain, poor posture, neck pain, shoulder pain. You're going to struggle with your sleep quality. Um, you, you're just never going to wake up and just be sharp and rested and, and ready to go and have the endurance and cognition necessary. You're going to have brain fog. Your memory is going to be not as good as it could be. You're going to be forgetful. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to feel sluggish. You're going to have low willpower, low motivation. You're going to have digestive problems. Your brain is going to be prone to addictions. You're going to have hormonal problems. You're going to have slow met metabolic rate. And it's just going to get, it's going to be very hard to operate from this place. Um, on the psychological front, you're also going to struggle with addictions. You're going to be held back by old neuroplasticity, whether that be PTSD, trauma of any kind. You're going to have depression, anxiety. You're going to struggle with insecurity, imposter syndrome, self-sabotage, overwhelm. You're going to feel stuck, fearful, frustrated. You're going to be easily discouraged. You're going to lack joy and almost like struggle feeling this excitement. You're going to have low emotional stability. And then on the performance front, you're going to be inconsistent, inefficient, procrastinating, you're going to destroy your own momentum. You're going to, your productivity overall is just not going to be at the top range or what it, what it could be. You're going to struggle focusing. You're going to have difficulty learning new skills and concepts, which is a big problem. You're going to struggle with burnout. You're going to eventually fall for complacency. You're going to start making poor decisions and um, you're going to be indecisive. You're going to, your likelihood of being just like overwhelmed and, and paralyzed by information is, is very high as well. On the influence front, this is where a lot of things will be visible in your relationships. You'll have a lot of uh, relationships that 
will have huge amounts of negative emotions between them. And, and, and this is going to engage your stress response and just kind of wreak havoc uh, on, on everything else or wreak havoc on everything else. So people pleasing will happen if you don't know how to, if you don't have influence mastered or optimized, you'll be unable to be assertive without being aggressive. So you'll come off as a tyrant or, you know, bitchy. Um, you will, uh, other people will resist your ideas and, and leadership and, and it will be rejected. You will struggle to inspire change in others. You'll struggle with giving in to peer pressure. You and you'll struggle to be by with being influenced by others in ways that you do not like. You will be indecisive. You will um, overanalyze. You will analyze ineffectively. You'll have difficulty discerning between who to trust and 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 who to not. And you're going to miss out on opportunities. And you're going to make poor decisions. You're going to be pushing people away. And you're not going to be able to be charismatic when it really matters. When you get the opportunity to deliver that speech, you're going to flop. Um, so that's the unoptimized life, and and I don't I don't recommend it. Um, so let's see what happens when we do optimize. So on the biology front, when you optimize, you're going to have all the energy. You're going to be effortlessly lean and strong. You're going to have sharpness like you've never had before. You're going to feel clear. Your overall brain function is going to feel so so well coordinated everything's going to come to you at the right time you're going to be able to focus effortlessly you're going to have deep restorative sleep your hormones metabolism thyroid all of that is going to function excellent which leads to you know beyond body composition but just overall energy and you're going to be almost shielded against addictions because of your biochemistry um so on the psychological front you're going to be free from addictions. You're going to be enthusiastic, excited, joyful, motivated, free from imposter syndrome, free from self-sabotage, unshakable confidence, happy, engaged, fulfilled, all the good stuff. On the performance front, you're going to be extremely consistent. You're going to be able to build the momentum you want. You're going to have literally zero procrastination, laser sharp focus, acceler accelerated learning of complex skills and concepts. You're going to be extremely productive. Promotions are gonna come your way. Record-breaking profits are gonna come your way. And you're going to be admired by your peers and competitors um, alike. On the influence front, here's what it feels like to really be optimized. You're going to have a lot of emotionally resonant relationships. You're going to, your communication is going to come across the way you want it to. You, it's going to be well received. It, you, others will appreciate your ideas and leadership. You will make excellent first impressions. You will know exactly how to influence any kind of personality and relationship in, in the exact direction that is appropriate and would benefit everyone. Um, you're going to be a, a value and, and kind of see very early cl uh, clues in, in different relationships. You're going to be able to read personalities rapidly and know exactly how you need to act in order to make the best impression, show the most competence and, and kind of move things forward in the best possible way. You're going to have strong partnerships. You're going to know how to trust people and, and, and you're going to know how to handle difficult situations, more difficult people. There's just never going to be anything that can come your way that you're not ready for. So you're going to essentially socially just, just advance and uh, opportunities will, will come to you. Now, at this point, you kind of have uh, two paths. So, um, you know, th this is by William Shakespeare. This is not my idea. This is his. Uh, you essentially have two paths. You either optimize or you cross your fingers and you hope. So to be or not to be, that is the question. Um, and uh, here is what these. So, you know, I assume that you want to be optimized. If if you, you know, if you want to cross your fingers, go ahead and do that. But I would just not recommend it. I, I The optimized life is a better life. It's a life with uh, just substantially healthier, more profitable, better relationships. Uh, you know, and, and you're just you're just generally happier. So uh, the next step towards becoming optimized and if you want help implementing all of this, all these concepts and and you don't want to waste time trying to figure this out on your own, um, then book your clarity call below. I'm, I'm going to put a link where depending on where you're watching, there's there's going to be a link below this video to to book your call. And, you know, on this call, it, the call is going to be a very pleasant experience. I'm not going to be you know, hard selling anything. I'm not going to be pushy. I'm, I really, you know, I build relationships. So like my goal with having a conversation is for, for that to be extremely positive experience for you. And um, yeah, I, I just don't break that rule. I always make sure that you will come out with something 
and you'll be it will be the best investment of your time possible and um, so here is kind of what to expect so the clarity call process will first analyze and understand your situation your aspirations what you're trying to do and um, then we'll review and analyze your past attempts we'll look at the current challenges the current obstacles essentially everything that could go wrong and just make sure that you're prepared for it uh, we'll look at any kind of limiting factor we'll look at any kind of complexity that can come up and you know if you don't have any obvious problems then it's essentially a path of figuring out how to optimize and where where to do that a lot of people come to me after working with just you know the best people they could find and they literally couldn't find anything for their level of competence for their level of productivity and when they see what i work with the the kind of you know in optimizing brain function and just being more surgical and targeted about it and they are like this is it this is this is the next level and, and and they're super excited so whether you have big problems or you're just looking to optimize this is going to be a great solution and a, and a fantastic experience and then as a step three we'll formulate an individualized sophisticated sustainable step-by-step -step strategy to accomplish your vision and and that's essentially what we're going to do so um, thank you for watching this. Now, all you need to think about is just book your call below. Um, that's It will literally take you two minutes and it will absolutely change your life for the better. So do not hesitate. Do that now. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, have a, we'll have a fun conversation together and, and uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what I can help you with.